Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what we're talking about is snook jig fishing. In other words, catching snook when they're down real deep. So you need to use a jig or something real heavy to get down there. So I'm going to show you, we'll talk about anyways, the best techniques to do that and tips and uh, the colors you need, uh, just the sizes, things like that. So here, let's go ahead and look at it. All right, snook jig fishing tips. First of all, you want to throw the you want to throw your jig out, let it sink, and fish within three feet of the bottom. I mean, that's just how you got to do it. So, so that's that's rule one. <laughs> Number two, you want to be by structure. So you're going to fish structure. So uh, bridges, the pilings of bridges and docks and inlets or any of those places where the snook are going to be aggregated somewhere near the bottom. That's where they're going to be. Um, you also want to use a very slow retrieve when you're, um, you know, fishing with a jig. You know, roughly as fast as the current is what, what I like to do anyways. So very slow retrieve. I think that's one of the main mistakes people make when they're jig fishing is they just fish it too fast. Uh, when you're night fishing, which seems to be the time when most people are fishing, even though it doesn't need to be uh, with jigs, you can fish all day, whatever, because it's pretty dark down deep a lot of times by the structure. But anyways, night fishing. You want to cast way past the shadow line because you don't know how that shadow line is in the water. You just see the top of the water, 30 feet down, that shadow line might be 20 feet past that. So you got to cast way past the shadow line that you see uh, and then work it back through there. Uh, always cast up current. Well, that should be number one. Okay, well, okay, anyways. Always cast up current. You need to throw that jig way up current there and bounce it back with the current. All of your predatory fish are facing that current. Doesn't matter, you know, because there's snook down there, but there's big maybe Kubera snapper and grouper and all kinds of fun things to catch, and they're all going to be facing the current. All right. When you're beach fishing, the best time to beach fish with a jig I've found is when the water is real milky or cloudy. You know, you got a two or three foot swell coming in and the water gets a little bit like milk. Seems to me like snook will bite just about anything, but it's a great time to fish a jig right there, just bringing it towards you. Um, all right, the colors you need. Here's my rule of thumb. I think you only need three colors and three sizes of jig to fish basically all of Florida. You need pink or chartreuse when the water is murky or dirty or whatever. And you want white when it's clear. So you only need three colors and you only need three sizes too. I think a one ounce, a one and a half ounce, and a two ounce is going to keep you covered. And then here, here's a few of my jigs. You know, I make my own jigs. I pour my own jigs. But, uh, here, let go of him. But anyways, these are the three colors I think you need. So I have pink with a red tail. White with a red tail, and chartreuse with a red tail. So, like I said, I pour my own jig heads and I paint them and things like that. But uh, you know, that's a different story. I'm just bored sometimes. It doesn't really save you that much money. I mean, a good snook jig is only three, four dollars, and the way I do it, it's maybe a dollar fifty. So, and it takes a long time to do. So, I'm not advocating making your own jigs to save a bunch of money. But you got to realize that if you fish a lot, you jig fish a lot, you probably what? Bring three jigs and you're lucky to come back with one if you're fishing a lot in a very, you know, rocky or a place with a lot of hang up. So, you know, I kind of look at them as disposable. Um, so that's why I pour my own. But anyways, I just wanted to cover some snook jib, jig fishing tips. Uh, snook season's here. You know, everyone loves catching snook. And a jig is a way, great way to do it if they're down deep. But you can find out more of this information right on our website. It's www.fisheryassoff.com. How to, where to, what to, anything you want to know about catching fish here in Florida. Simple tips to help fishermen catch more fish. But I think that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.